we're not really doing any live work per se today, but there's one last step that if you read the fine print and service information, I think a lot of people neglect. And what we have to think about is worst case scenario all the time here. What if something bad happened to my meter? What if it all of a sudden failed? Maybe the battery's weak in it and it gave me some false readings. So to verify that's not the case, we're gonna come out of the car, go back up to our 12 volt battery and double test, double check our meter again. I'll meet you up there guys. Um, earlier we had a pretty dead battery so we're not expecting to see a fully charged battery but we're expecting to see um, a battery that had around 10.4 volts we should see about the same if my meter is working properly and it is so at this point in time if we needed to work on the inverter converter if we had something major to remove with the transmission and so forth now you'll be safe we have properly isolated a hybrid battery. Have a good day, folks.